McNamara. This is Damian McNamara, Global Medical News Network, and I'm here with Dr. Rowan Chobowski at the American Society of Clinical Oncology meeting. This is a secondary analysis uh, of the Women's Health Initiative randomized clinical trial. Uh, the intervention uh, of estrogen plus progestin was, was given for 5.6 years. The study was stopped when there were more risks and benefits. In the 2.4 years of follow-up, which we reported last year, we, fought, we saw a significant increase in total malignancies. We wondered whether, in a trend towards uh, increased death overall, so we wondered whether non -small, or whether lung cancer findings could explain this result. So we uh, went and uh, covered the charts of the patients who had, re had lung cancer, centrally adjudicated those values, uh, and then looked at their uh, outcome by treatment arm. We saw no effect of estrogen plus progestin on small cell lung cancer incidence or outcome, but we did see a trend towards an increased incidence of non-small cell lung cancer of 28%, and we saw a significant uh, decrease in survival after diagnosis of non-small cell lung cancer of about 61%. If we put those together, you get an increase in the overall population of about 87% in risk of death from non-small cell lung cancer. Now, importantly, to put it in perspective, 50% of the women were n never smokers, 40% were past smokers, and 10% were current smokers. In the past, uh, in the never smoker category, the absolute risk was extremely small, pretty much negligible. But in the current smokers, it looked like the risk was about one in a hundred of having an otherwise avoidable death from non-small cell lung cancer. So that that was our finding. The question is, is this type of secondary analysis uh, reliable enough to fully inform clinical practice? I think on the cautious side, it seems like women who are smoking should not use combined hormone therapy, or should, if they're using combined hormone therapy, they should, they should stop tobacco use. How applicable is it to the way women are taking hormone replacement therapy now, and kind of what is the message clinicians should be giving these women? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, the standard the hormone, combined hormone therapy, even with the same agents, is about half the dose that it was then. Uh, and I think there's a, maybe a trend for women to want to be uh, a little bit more guarded about continuing for long periods of time. So I think, uh, and uh, so in that context, I think that the, the knowing about this potential risk still holds, and I think it just will be a, another caution, especially in the women who are current smokers. And going forward, you have a trial plan to look at just estrogen, correct? And we, we plan to do similar analysis in the clinical trial, which was comparing uh, estrogen alone versus placebo in postmenopausal women who had a prior hysterectomy. This has been Damian McNamara with Global Medical News Network.